the channel and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. So first of all, just me log into your credentials and once you're done with that, in the description box of this video, I will share one GitHub link. Just me click on that link and then you are able to access this file over here. Now just me scroll down over here and from here you can see this URL. So just me open this thing in incognito window. This thing activate your cloud shell. Meanwhile, just me come back over here and from here you can see this curl command. This will download this GitHub repo from my GitHub to your cloud shell. Then we have to make this file executable. For that, we have to just me run this chmod command. And for executing all the command, we have to just me run this last command over here. So just me copy all these commands. Come back now just me paste over here hit enter now we have to just me wait for this command get execute and once it's done we are done with the 50 percent of the lab now just me wait for this command get execute And is finally done. Now just me come back to the lab instructions, click on the task number 6, scroll down a little bit and from here you can see this first URL over here. You can see auth const just me open this thing in incognito window like this way. Now just me wait, click on this get started, now just me type your name like this way. From here just me choose this user id, then click on this next, from here just me choose external click on this next for this email address just me copy this username and paste over here then click on this next click on the checkbox continue and create so you have done with this process so just me wait for this thing get complete and it's done now again come back over here scroll down a little bit and from the point number four just me open this url in incognito window like this way just me choose your project id Click on this enable API. Then click on this go to identity proxy. Now here you can see my backend service. Just me click on the checkbox over here and then just me turn on this toggle like this way. And it's finally done. Now what you do, just me click on this add principles over here. Now for the new principle, just me copy this user ID over here, copy this and paste over here again. Okay. Now for the role, just me scroll down over here and from here you can see this role. So just me copy this role carefully. Make sure that you do not copy any extra space. Okay. Now just me paste from here, just me choose that and then just me click on the save. And that's the thing that you have to do. Now if you just may come back over here and click on the check my progress for each and every task, you will get a score without any issue. And if the score is not updated for any particular task, no need to worry. Just may wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score over here for sure. So just may wait and watch. And as you can see, it's done. And in this way, we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a great day, guys.